there's two ropes and they always get attached to the more stable bar in the dock. So the vertical ones, not these little dinky angular ones. Give yourself a push away from the dock. Put your oar in the oar lock on both sides. When you're rowing in a rowboat, you will roll backwards, meaning your back is faced where you're gonna be going. Um, that's where the, how the boat is designed. The point of the boat, okay, or the bow needs to be cutting the water and you shouldn't be pushing like a barge with the end of the boat that's straight like this. So when you row, you're using your whole body. So you lean forward, put the oars in the water, and then you pull and lean all the way backwards. So that's how you move. So the more you pull with your abs, the faster you will go. If you pull with the same strength on your right side as on your left side, you should go straight. If you need to turn, you can either drag a paddle or you can paddle with one. So if I paddle with the left oar, just do that one. I'm only paddling with one. I will eventually turn into a circle, but this is very slow because I'm only using one oar, okay? If I want to spin a little bit faster, then you can use both oars and you would spin by pulling with one and pushing with the other. And because they're both doing two different actions, they're going to spin you a lot faster. So instead, you go like this, and you spin a lot faster. Eventually you'll get used to using the oars as an extension of your hands, much like a fish uses their side fins to stabilize themselves in the water. It's very important that you become comfortable with navigating in a rowboat. When you dock back to shore, so we'll spin around again, roll back using your abs leading forward and backwards. I'd have to look over your shoulder once you want to see where you're going. Aim the bow, the pointed part of the boat, towards the dock, and then swing fast. Lift one more up, take it out. Use the other oar to kind of push yourself up to the dock. Put the other oar in the boat and take it out. And then you're going to hook back up. Again, you hook up to the vertical pillars. Go around the pole. And attach it right back. So I'm going towards the side that the knot is. Around this little bar crossing over in front and attaching this clip back onto the rope and then you're done. So make sure that you practice your rowing skills.